the next thing that we want to do over here is we need to fill in this particular form over here and when we click on this set save button we need to call some function from our database which is to insert the employee and this takes the parameter of the employee companion so let us go back to our add employee screen over here and over here we need to call that function right so before we can call that function uh, let us create a let uh, app uh, db file over here and that will be underscore db and we will initialize this inside the init function and let me just remove this one and here we will call that underscore db which is of app db right so this will initialize the app database for us and the next thing is that we need to go over here and create a final variable of let's say entity sorry enti to entity which is of equals to employee companion right so inside this employee companion we have to fill in this particular username our first name last name and the date of birth so all of them are string only the the date of birth is a date and time so let's fill in the username first of all and i need to import some package over here for that i'll just go and call the import and it should be of a drift package drift and the drift dot okay so we'll just go and call the i think i need to you can see there is an error there is a conflict between the two package so i need to set it this one as a drift right so that error should be gone right so, so i think the drift package also has the same column the the field that's why it is it has i think class name column that's why it's, it's conflicting so i'll just say drift now and drift dot the the value that we can set over here the this is coming from the underscore the username controller dot text so that should be the one and i think i'll just duplicate the line and this should be of the first name this one will be our last name and this one will be date of birth so this one will be underscore the first name controller text and this one will be our last name controller and for the date of birth we don't have any value so how do we get the date values i think we'll use a simple one is a date and uh, date and time so date and time dot the now function will give us the current date so that should be the current date that we are inserting otherwise we have to convert this particular date i think we do we have any date created yeah i think we have created the the date of birth field right so i think we can insert that one instead of date and time now so date of birth now and this is a um, nullable field so i think i will just make it as a not null i think over here i'll just call it as a not null and this is a date and time field which is null non-nullable right so it is not a null field and uh, so we cannot so let's just set it as uh, uh, the bank operator over here which means that not null over here and once we have this we can call the db function uh, underscore db dot then we will insert the employee and then pass that one so once we call this function right so we will call this function and it should go and call this function and the next thing is that where this is returning a future of the int so if you want to say that you want to see that whether when it was successfully inserted we want to see some message over there so for that i can just say then call this particular then i have a value and i'll call the scaffold uh, messenger over here and i don't need this child for now scaffold messenger dot i'll call the off 
pass in the context and when i pass in the context then i can also call the particular function over here i think dot so the uh, snack bar uh, or the show material banner so i think i'll just show the material banner and now inside this material banner we need to pass in the material banner itself so let us create a material banner itself over here the material banner is the content right so we need to pass the content and the action so content is the uh, widget so for widget we'll just pass in the text over here and we will just call say something over here like let's say um, new employee inserted right so and then we'll call that particular value that we are getting and in the action i think this is a list of widgets so list of widgets should be of the the list that we have to create over here and uh, then once we have that one what we can uh, do is uh, let me fix all of this issue first of all i think so over here action what we want to do is we want to when we click on that action button we want to hide this material banner right so otherwise it will be there forever so what we need to do is we can call the create a button so i'll go call text button i think that should be fine the text button and we need to call on pressed and i think just we need to call the unpressed and the child over here so child is a widget and for widget we'll just give a call the text and this text we will just call it as uh, something like close so it should be of a close or something yeah and then i'll just say const over here c o n s t const and the on press we need to call some function so let us create a anonymous function lambda or the arrow function whatever you want to call it over here and then we will scaffold uh, messenger we don't need to call this child dot off context and then i can just call the hide context and after context start hide the current material banner that we have i think that will show us the the material banner or if you want to check this value like let's say if the value is uh, greater than uh, one that means the insert was successful and if it is less than uh, uh, it's not equal to greater than one or like that you can just check this particular condition over here if you want to check because this is returning uh, integer variable right so when um, when we are in when we have inserted it it will return the particular inserted record id so you can check that condition but let us try to run this particular application for now uh, let me hard reload and i think i have imported that just js uh, where is that where did i imported that dot js did i import it somewhere dot js yeah it is sure i'm not sure from where it went over there so let me just rerun my application and uh, yeah so let's go to the add employee and we'll try to add the employee username let's say a uh, demo one and let's say call this as a demo one and the last name also we'll call this as a test one something like that and uh, then uh, we will call the date of birth so let's pick somewhere between 1989 and just select some date over here and just save this one and you can see that we got a new employee inserted and the record one so and if i click on this that is gone right so you can add some formatting so let's say if i create a demo 2 and that should be of a 2 and this one of a 2 now let's select a different date from here 1990 and 05 click on ok and save this one you can see now new employee inserted 
and the record ID of it too. So you can also add some like uh, the formatting for this particular material banner that we have. Uh, if you want to add like a background color and I can say colors that I can add something like uh, what color do you uh, we can add so let's say uh, orange or the deep orange or something and, and then once we have that one background color and I think that should be fine now once we have that background color I think we also need to change the text color because otherwise the text would be on so I'll just say style over here and the text uh, style that we will be using text style and i'll choose the colors and the colors dot the let's say a uh, white uh, else i think i'll just select a pink color from here so let me just uh reload this application and let me just say uh three over here and the demo three and as well as the test three all right so just select a different date of uh, from here different year and something that and just save it okay let me close okay so we got that one but the color that we are getting over here is for the text button is uh, the white color but we didn't change this particular this one so we also need to add the same style just copy the same thing right so i can just and pass it over here the same format for this particular text okay and then i can call the const over here that should be fine now let's close this one and just uh, reload your application and i'll just call it as a four and four and test four so select a different date and just save that one okay so now we got a little bit better all right so there's each metro if you want to zoom, do some customization you are welcome and just customize it but we are not interested on the the ui or the banner of itself we are just interested in inserting the record over here so that's great right so now the next thing is that we need to get um, the list of that particular the employee over here so we'll do it in the next one till then have a great day